going to be testing out the Huda Beauty Fox Filter Foundation. And I got the shade Toffee. This is what the packaging looks like. So when you open it up, it's just a plastic bottle and you take the top off and it has a pump. My first thought of this is I really thought it was going to be a glass bottle. I don't have a problem with it being plastic. I think it's easier for like if it drops or anything like that. But I was just a little disappointed because I did expect it to be a glass bottle. So anyways, this foundation retails for $40. I'm just going to read a few claims. I don't have my phone, so just bear with me. So it says that... It's a velvety, smooth, liquid foundation that delivers full coverage and airbrush finish for a second skin look. So it's not a matte foundation and it's supposed to kind of just make you look flawless like you're wearing your own skin. And let's see what else it says. It's supposed to diminish the appearance of blemishes, conceal hyperpigmentation, smooth skin, and blur imperfections. Hmm. Interesting. And it says the formula blends seamlessly with skin using as little as one pump. Okay. That's really cool, so I'm going to use only one pump to try to do my entire face. And as you guys already know, a lot of redness, and I do have textured skin. So hopefully it makes my textured skin look good and can cover the redness. So I'm just going to do one pump on the back of my hand. Wow, one pump is actually a good amount. So I feel like this is a lot more than any foundation gives out for one pump. And I'm going to be just using my Fenty Beauty um, sponge for this and I have it wet. I'm actually going to first apply the foundation onto my skin and then blend it out. So I'm just going to put it in streaks and I like to start in the middle of my face. Okay, so just for starters, this foundation has like a really strong scent. It kind of smells like a perfume, like a rosy perfume, honestly do not like the scent I hate scented things like foundations and stuff like that and I think when companies make their products scented they really need to think about like is everyone gonna like this and chances are that it's not so like I don't know I'm hoping that this doesn't irritate my skin This is one pump and I do feel like one pump did go good around my entire face but I didn't expect this foundation to basically just like look like my skin like I wanted some coverage I do agree with like the whole looks like your skin you think that it covered up my my redness here so that's not bad I like the fact that it only used one pump and I think I mentioned it it's only $40 which I guess I shouldn't say only because I do think that's still a little expensive. I don't hate it, so I'm just going to do my full face and I'll be right back to just show you guys what the entire face looks like. Alright, so I'm back. I don't think the foundation looks terrible, so just to give you guys an overview, again, it's $40. It comes in about, I think, 30 shades, which is super great. Um, it comes in a plastic bottle. It does have a pump. And they give you, what is it, 1.18 fluid ounces, which is a lot more than normal foundations that we normally get, like, one fluid ounce. So, so far, I mean, I think it does look good on my skin just looking at it from camera. But in the mirror, you can see that, like, it really did emphasize a lot of my texture on my face. So, I don't really know how I feel about that part. I did like the shade. One thing I just cannot stand about this foundation is just the scent. I wish that they had done without this scent. So overall, I would give this foundation like a 3.5 out of 5, which is not bad. I just think that they just need to change the bottle, the scent of the foundation. Those are the only two things that I would really change. Other than that, I think I like the foundation. It's not my favorite. Let me know what you guys think about this foundation. Like, if you like the scent, if you think it's great. Hey guys, so that's my review on this Huda Beauty Fox Filter Foundation. So, if you guys want to see more first impressions videos, then don't forget to like and subscribe this one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!